Family and friends have started saying goodbye to a fallen firefighter. 30 year old Zach Clevenger died after fighting a fire late Friday night. His visitation started about an hour ago in Montgomery County. WKYT's Sean Moody is live there. He shows us how Clevenger is being remembered. Sean? Hey there, Sam and Amber. People have been coming and going for a little while now. The public portion of his visitation started around 5 o'clock. There was also a procession carrying his body from a funeral home in Beitaville to here in Mount Sterling for this visitation. And firefighters expect to see a whole lot of people out here tonight. Fellow firefighters say Captain Zach Clevenger was born to be a firefighter. As they say, it's in his blood. They say he'd been around fire stations with his dad ever since he was a kid. I seen pictures of him. Uh, playing with the, the toy fire fire hat and the, the toy uh, fire truck. It's been kind of an up and down few days for the firefighters who've been there alongside him. Uh, we're laughing, cutting up, telling the stories about Zach, uh, and then uh, we're uh, huddled up together, crying, trying to trying to get through this. Captain Jeff Jackson worked with Zach for several years. Now he and firefighters from all around are saying goodbye. I, I would expect a, a a good turnout. Most people want to come out and give their honors. Because it's just uh, just the moment they, they want to be able to remember and cherish. Uh, they might not know Zach personally, but when they leave here, they will probably hear a story or two about who he was and what he did. As the brothers and sisters of the fire department come to Living Water Church tonight, they hope to share fond memories and send a message to Zach's family. We will always be there from uh, from next tomorrow to next week to next month next year. Uh, we will be there for them. We'll be there for his, his parents, his wife, uh, his child. Now this visitation will go on until 9 o'clock tonight. Captain Clevenger's funeral is set for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Live in Montgomery County, Sean Moody, WKYT. And instead of sending flowers, Zach's family has asked that people donate money to their local fire departments for training in honor of Chase. Chase is what his immediate family called him.